Alright, so today we're diving into Spreadshirt, an awesome platform for creating and selling custom designs on everything from t-shirts to tote bags. If you're thinking about launching your own print-on-demand shop or just want to create some fun, unique gifts for family and friends, this is the place to be. Stick with me, and I'll guide you through the whole process step by step. Sound good? Let's jump right in. First off, let's dive into what Spreadshirt actually is. Imagine you have this fantastic idea for a design. Maybe something quirky like a coffee first mug or a motivational phone case. But you're not interested in dealing with the stress of printing, inventory, shipping, or handling customer service. That's where Spreadshirt comes in. They make everything simple by handling all of the heavy lifting, production, shipping, returns, and even payments. You just need to upload your designs, select which products you want to feature them on, and voila, you're ready to start selling. It's perfect for entrepreneurs. If you're eager to start an online store but don't have the funds for inventory or the space for product storage, Spreadshirt allows you to run your store with minimal risk and no upfront costs. You can focus on growing your brand while Spreadshirt handles the back end. Or if you have a creative streak and want to monetize your artwork, Spreadshirt lets you upload your designs and sell them on a wide variety of products, from clothing to accessories, without the hassle of traditional retail. Maybe you love making custom gifts for birthdays, anniversaries, or holidays. Spreadshirt is a great platform for creating one-of-a-kind products that make memorable gifts, allowing you to offer personalized items for any occasion. One of the best things about Spreadshirt is that it's completely risk-free. No need to worry about investing in inventory or worrying about meeting minimum order requirements. Since they print and ship products as orders come in, you don't need to handle any logistics yourself. This makes it an ideal choice for anyone who wants to dive into e-commerce without the traditional risks and costs. You can focus on creativity and marketing while Spreadshirt handles the operational side of things. Whether you're starting a business, turning your art into profit, or simply want to create customized gifts for loved ones, Spreadshirt makes it easy to get started without the usual headaches. All right. Let's get started with setting up your Spreadshirt account. First, head over to spreadshirt.com. Once you're there, you'll notice a prominent button in the top right corner that says Start Selling. Click on that, and you're already on the right track. Spreadshirt offers two main options to get your designs out there, so let's explore each one. This is like having your own mini online store but hosted and managed by Spreadshirt. You can fully customize your shop with your branding, colors, and layout to match your style. You also get to pick what products you want to feature and set your own prices. This option is ideal if you already have an audience and want to build a unique store around your designs. Plus, you can promote your shop however you like, driving traffic to your own personalized site. If you don't have a huge following yet, the Marketplace option is a great place to start. Your designs will be displayed alongside other artists' creations in Spreadshirt's existing Marketplace, which already gets tons of traffic. This gives you a built-in audience, so you don't need to worry about driving traffic to a store right away. It's a low-risk, high-exposure way to get started, and as you grow, you can eventually set up your own spread shop. If you're just starting out and don't yet have a large audience, the marketplace option is probably your best bet. It allows you to showcase your designs to a broader audience without having to worry about building a customer base from scratch. Once you start gaining traction, you can always upgrade to a spread shop where you'll have even more control over your branding and promotion. As you get comfortable with the platform, you can switch between these options or even manage both. The good news is that Spreadshirt makes it easy to grow with your business. 
No matter which option you choose, you'll have the chance to personalize your designs with various product options and categories, like t-shirts, hoodies, mugs, phone cases, and more. You can even experiment with different colors and styles to see what resonates best with your audience. The process is user-friendly, and Spreadshirt's tools help you create professional-looking products in no time. By following these steps, you'll be able to start selling on Spreadshirt quickly, whether you decide to build your own store or leverage the marketplace. Now, let's dive into setting up your account. After you click Start Selling, you'll be directed to a page where you'll need to enter a few basic details. Here's what you'll need to provide. Enter your email address, which will be used for account notifications and communication. Choose a name for your shop. Don't overthink it at this point. It can be something simple that reflects your style or designs. You can always change it later if you want to rebrand. Create a strong password for security purposes. Once you've filled out this information, just check the box to accept the terms and conditions, don't skip this step, and click Create Account to move on. If you already have an account with Spreadshirt, maybe you've sold before or signed up a while ago, you can log in using your existing credentials. It's that simple. If you're creating a new account, make sure to choose an email address you check regularly. This will ensure you stay on top of important updates, such as sales notifications, account activity, and customer feedback. It's also a good idea to use a secure password to keep your account safe. Once your account is set up, you'll be ready to start uploading designs and deciding where you want to sell them, whether on your own spread shop or the marketplace. The next steps are all about adding products, customizing your store, and setting your prices. But don't worry, it's a smooth, intuitive process, and you can always make changes along the way. Your Spreadshirt account, you'll land on the dash. Once you're logged into your Spreadshirt account, you'll land on the dashboard, which acts as your central hub for everything you need to run your shop. It's like the control center where you can access your designs, tweak your shop settings, track analytics, and manage your earnings, all in one place. Take a moment to explore the navigation menu on the left-hand side of the screen. This menu is where you'll find key sections for managing your business. Designs. Here's where you can upload and manage your artwork. Whether it's a fresh new design or an existing one you want to update, this is the place to do it. You can select the types of products that best match your brand and appeal to your target audience. Shops. If you've decided to set up a spread shop, this is where you'll customize and tweak your shop's layout and design. You can add banners, change colors, and organize products to create a shopping experience that reflects your personal style or brand. Analytics. This is your performance tracker. You'll find insights about your sales, customer data, and overall shop performance here, allowing you to adjust your strategy for maximum impact. Payouts. When it's time to cash out, the payouts section is where you'll manage and request your earnings. We'll go through each of these sections in detail later on, but for now, let's dive right into the fun part, uploading your first design. This is where your creativity comes to life, and it's a simple, easy process that will allow you to showcase your artwork on a range of products. Ready to get started? Let's go! Here comes the fun part, getting your creativity out there and seeing your designs come to life. On the left-hand side of your dashboard, click on Designs. This is your creative space where you'll upload, organize, and manage all the artwork you plan to sell. It's your design library, so you'll come here every time you want to add a new product or refresh your inventory. Once you're in the Designs tab, Look for the big upload button. Clicking this will allow you to either drag and drop your design file or browse through your computer to select it. 
It's quick and simple, so don't be intimidated. Before uploading, make sure your design file is high resolution. The ideal resolution is at least 300 dpi dots per inch. This ensures your design will look sharp and professional when printed on a variety of products like t-shirts, mugs, or bags. If your design is too low res, it might appear pixelated, which could affect the final product's quality. Spreadshirt accepts several file formats, but the most common ones are PNG, best for designs with transparency, like logos, JPG, perfect for photo-based artwork, SVG, ideal for vector art and scalable designs. Once your design is uploaded, you'll be prompted to choose where you want to sell it. Remember you have two options. If you've chosen to set up your own shop, this is where you'll assign your design to specific products that align with your brand. If you prefer to list your design among others on Spreadshirt's marketplace, select this option to get more exposure right away. Once you've chosen your preferred selling option, you're ready to move forward with setting up your products and pricing. This is where you'll decide what products to feature your design on, giving your customers multiple choices to purchase your work. Exciting, right? Let's get started. Now that your design is uploaded, it's time to pick the perfect products to showcase it. Spreadshirt offers a huge variety of products to choose from, so you're bound to find something that fits your style and target audience. Whether it's classic t-shirts, cozy hoodies, travel mugs, eco-friendly tote bags, or even pet bandanas, yes, seriously, there's something for everyone. Spreadshirt will automatically display a list of products that your design works well with. You can browse through the options and see what looks best with your artwork. You're in control. If you think your design works better on a t-shirt than on a mug, simply uncheck the mug option. This way, you only offer your design on the items you think will do best. For each product, you'll have the option to choose which colors to offer. Let's say your design really pops on a black shirt but looks a bit dull on a white one. No worries, just disable the white option, and you'll ensure that customers can buy the product in colors that make your design stand out the most. You can also specify which sizes to offer. If your design works better on a specific fit, like a slim fit versus a classic fit, you can adjust the available options accordingly. This level of flexibility makes it easy to tailor your offerings based on what you think will resonate best with your audience. Plus, it helps minimize the risk of unsold inventory and ensures you're offering a variety of items that your customers will love. Here's where you can really start seeing the potential for profit, setting your pricing. Spreadshirt makes it easy by giving you a base price for each product. This base price covers all production and shipping costs, so you're clear on what you'll pay for the item. Then, you have the freedom to add your own markup, which is your profit. The base price is the amount charged by Spreadshirt for the production and shipping of the item. For instance, if a hoodie has a base price of $30, this is the cost for Spreadshirt to produce and deliver the hoodie to the customer. Your markup is the amount you add to the base price to determine your profit. If you choose to add a $10 markup to that hoodie, the final price for the customer will be $40. Once the customer purchases the hoodie, Spreadshirt deducts the base price and gives you the remaining amount as profit. In this case, your profit per hoodie would be $10. Here are some pricing tips. Make sure your prices are in line with what your target audience is willing to pay. While a lower price may attract more customers, you don't want to undervalue your designs. Pricing too low might give the impression that your products are of poor quality. If you're unsure about the best pricing, try experimenting with different markups to see how your customers respond. You can always make adjustments as needed. 
Once you're happy with your design and product selection, click Publish. Your item is now live on the Spreadshirt Marketplace, or your spread shop, depending on what you chose earlier. Now comes the next step, Promotion. Whether you're sharing your shop link on social media, running ads, or partnering with influencers, there are tons of ways to get the word out.